Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to do some more conversions. So notice that we have 60 degrees here and 3.80 what? Radians. Well, how do we know it's radians? There's no units. And these are measurements of angles that we're talking about. Okay, so we see the degree symbol. It's degrees. We don't see any symbols. We don't see any units. It's understood to be radians. Okay, so let's convert. So now 60 degrees. We're going to multiply this by pi over 180 degrees, right? And again, it's typically pi radians, right? So, oh, another thing to realize is just incidentally, this is like multiplying by one, right? All you're doing is converting from one measurement of the angle to another measurement of the same angle, right? So in a way, you're just multiplying this by a form of one, right? That's what we do with unit ratios, remember? That's what a unit ratio does. It's a form of one, okay? So anyway, so now 60 degrees times this is going to give us what? Pi over three. And that's assumed to be radians. So now if I have 3.8, I'm gonna multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. And so when I do this, now in this case, I'm gonna use the calculator and this will give me And that's it. So there's just another example of doing conversion factors. Okay. See you next time.